moved into this house 11 years ago and inherited the koi pond. left me six koi fish. Because I was working at the time I didn't really have a lot to do with the pond but when I retired seven years ago I decided that I would get into koi in a bigger way so I decided to try and get some nicer fish. This was probably about six years ago. I ended up joining the Koi Society in Australia. breed on and see if I can get them to a, a reasonably good standard then I'm happy. Okay, these are some of my better Coromos that I uh, bred last year. So they're approximately eight months old, eight or nine months old now. and. Uh, Except for this ugly fish there, it belongs to a friend of mine, the Karashi Goy. Oh, that's a very nice fish. Um, so you can see the difference in some of the Goromos where 
the scalation is starting to change on a few of them. This is looking a little bit. This is coming through a little bit on there, on the he. Good sized fish, these two. But that'll get stronger, I think, as the fish gets older. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. There's a little tancho in there. It's also got a little bit of a dark, darker head than you normally see on a tancho. A little bit one-sided, but nice fish. the fish looks in the water and to its standards nice pattern of course and uh, yeah so I suppose I've done all right in a short period of time in picking reasonably good fish in my pond but it's very hard finding them you have to keep looking all the time if you don't breed them you've got to look around and hopefully your friends or people in the club sell you their fish and usually you're buying a fish that might only be this big and it might develop very quickly if it does you know you're very happy but if it, some fish won't grow at all they just got in the genes they're not a very big fish but people with small ponds, that's what they like and that's what they buy. But people like myself that are looking at showing fish, I've got to look around for bigger and better fish, more outstanding fish that judges take a look at and say, wow, look at that, you know, that's a good fish. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I still like the hobby. I still like the breeding part and I still like uh, looking around and trying to find good fish. Um, yeah, I suppose that's it really.